Hi, welcome to another video. So, Quen has launched their new Quen 2.5 Omni model. This new model is positioned as the flagship end to end multimodal model in the Quen series. They describe it as designed for comprehensive multimodal perception, seamlessly processing diverse inputs, including text, images, audio, and video while delivering real-time streaming responses through both text generation and natural speech synthesis. Essentially, it's similar to GPT-4.0, where you can engage in speech-to-speech -speech conversations, or use speech-to-text functionality, and even combine video plus speech-to-speech, -speech, which is quite remarkable. It's comparable to GPT-4.0's capabilities, which is impressive. You can show it something, and ask it to describe it or answer questions about what it sees. Keep in mind that this model will have slightly lower performance than the Quen 2.57B model, which is somewhat disappointing, but it's arguably the first mainstream omnimodal model we've seen so far. So, I won't complain too much. Looking at the benchmarks, they haven't compared it with models like GPT-40, which is unfortunate because I would have liked to see how it stacks up against it, even if it performs significantly worse. Such comparisons would give us a clearer picture of its capabilities. If you're wondering whether you can run it locally, you probably can since it processes about 32 gigabytes in a 15-second video, meaning you could run it on an RTX 5090, which is pretty great. Additionally, there's the Quen chat platform, where you can use it for 10 requests per day, which is quite generous. Let's try it out as well. So, I got this riddle for you. Listen carefully, because I ain't gonna repeat. Sally is a girl, and she has three brother, but each of their brothers has the same two sisters. So, the question is, how many sisters does Sally have? Well, Sally has three brothers, and each brother has two sisters. Since Sally is one sister, there must be another sister too. So Sally has one more sister besides herself. That means Sally has two sisters in total. What do you think? Do you have any other riddles for me? Don't you think Sally has only one sister? No, I don't think so. Each of Sally's brothers has two sisters. Since Sally is one of those sisters, there must be another sister to make it too. So, Sally has two sisters. But if you really think differently, we could keep discussing this. What makes you think otherwise? Well, you see, every brother has two sisters. One of them is Sally. So, there's just one another sister. Hence, Sally has one sister. Ah, uh, I see where you're coming from now. You've got a different perspective on it. Well, that's an interesting way to look at it, too. It shows how different people can interpret things in various ways. Thanks for sharing your thoughts. If you have any other riddles or ideas, feel free to bring them up. The inference is quite fast, and you almost get the response instantaneously. You can also use it with video on their platform, though with different usage limits. While it's not as sophisticated as GPT-4.0, it represents a significant step in the right direction. The platform offers about four different voices, and the local model provides the same options, so that's available for you to use. Until now, we haven't had any proper all-in-one model, but this is a great development. It's also available on their Hugging Face space, where you can try it in offline mode by uploading audio, video, or text, and chatting with it, which is quite convenient. You can also run it locally with a web UI demo. It's compatible with VLLM, allowing you to serve it as an API if you wish, which is quite impressive. The simplest way to use it is with hugging face transformers, where you can just load the model, Input your question along with video, audio, or other media, and then use it accordingly, which is great. They've also shared some cookbooks 
that I want to walk you through. These are all notebooks, meaning you can easily run them on Colab as well. The first cookbook focuses on audio analysis, where you can perform tasks such as speech recognition, speech-to-text translation, and audio analysis. It's straightforward. Just open it in Colab or a similar platform. Enter your audio path along with your prompt and any other parameters you want to adjust, and it will process audio files. Most local models don't support this functionality, but this one does, which is truly impressive. Another cookbook is for voice chatting, where you can provide audio input and receive audio responses, which is quite remarkable. There's also a screen recording option that allows you to capture a screen recording and have the model analyze it instantly, which is quite useful. You also have the option to obtain information from video streams, where you can send a video stream to the model and get real-time information, which is incredibly practical. Then, there are cookbooks for chatting about music content in audio and video streams, as well as discussing math content in audio and video streams. The multi-round chatting cookbook enables you to conduct multiple rounds of audio and video dialogues with Quen, which is also very useful. That covers most of what this model offers. I think this model is quite impressive. If someone creates an option to fine-tune it on specific data, or even voice, that would be even more amazing. I really appreciate open-source projects because they make such powerful tools easily accessible to everyone. It's truly remarkable. I really like this. The voice quality is actually amazing and almost feels very real. I would keep the voice quality on par with something like OpenAI's counterpart. The only thing that remains is the knowledge, and if the knowledge gets upgraded, then this might be pretty awesome, and a scaled version of it will be kind of cool for sure. I really like it. It's probably the first omnimodal model openly available that I have seen that has this much quality and is actually quite usable locally. I hope that it keeps evolving as the voice-to-voice -voice chat is something that everyone expects these days with things like advanced voice mode or Gemini's voice mode and stuff like that. I don't know if it supports tool calling because if it does, then we could make it work with web search and whatnot. That would be cool to see as well. Let me know what you think about it. Please subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts as well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.